Okay, I'm live back at UTC. Uh, I was taken in the security okay. car um, here and I told her it looked like a, a Pope mobile. So this is what I was riding in. Pretty cool, huh? And uh, I've got my pulpit here with me today. And uh, the officer is already waiting on me in the security. And a uh, student had an awesome photo of the outreach from last time. And uh, he sent it to my phone. So praise God, I'm looking forward to today and what God's going to do in my uh, hometown. <laughs> Christians opposing the Great Commissions, Exhibit A. Okay? Christians opposing what Jesus said to do. Shame, shame, shame. Now, that, those of you that are sinners, I expect you to. Those that you are sinners, you're supposed to oppose me. But Christians opposing the gospel? <laughs> Are not all the 
tempted in all ways, but did not sin. Yeah. I, yeah. I, you sure? Are you um, there? Yeah. Okay. So, then, don't you think that it's possible for someone to be created attracted to the same sex if they, and do you still love God or whatever, if they don't act on it? Someone can still be open about it, but if they don't act on it, they never put it in sin. No, God would never make somebody unnatural because God says it's unnatural. Romans 1 says it's unnatural. Well, like I said, you're drawn away by your own lust. If that seed is in your heart, it came from somewhere. Hey, there's people that uh, can't live without pornography every day, too. And you porn freaks, that's unnatural, too.